Welcome to Ask Koshy, where I answer a viewer video question about their business problems. Today's question comes from Alison. Let's take a look. I'm Alison from Jack the Wombat. We're an early childhood literacy program, and with 44% of the Australian adult population experiencing problems with literacy, we really feel that there is a huge need for our business in the Australian community. Our aim is to make learning to read and write fun and engaging for our kids. Launching recently, we are seeking advice on how to be cost effective when posting our product to our market. Any advice on shipping, registered post, or the most effective product to use for reaching our global consumers would be great. Thank you. Alison, blow me down. I bought Jack the Wombat for my grandkids. It's a great book. You're doing a terrific job there. Hey, it's a great question too. Uh, Rebecca Burrows is here to help. She's the General Manager of Small Business at Australia Post. And when your question came in, I thought, let's go straight to the expert. Rebecca, it's a really common question for businesses like this one, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And I think what's really important to think about with a business like this is you might have a variety of different things that you're sending. So if I think about Jack the Wombat, you might have a single book that you're sending to a child somewhere in Australia to, to work on at home, or you might have you know, a bulk package that you're sending into a school. So it will be really worth having a look at what would be the most effective way of those two main ways that you're sending. So you can start off by actually uh, coming into a store or jump online onto something like My Post Business and actually just measure up what would your item actually be and then you might choose to use a flat rate satchel or a prepaid satchel to actually just start to send um, while your business is small and is growing and as well you might actually generate your own postage online or um, in the store and actually put that onto those bulk boxes. Right. If those books are actually um, really small and flat, you might actually even be able to send that via a large letter, which will be a very cost-effective way okay. uh, for something like Jack the Wombat to yep. get out there to, to Australia. Because it's quite thin, yeah, I remember absolutely. when mine came. Yep. Yeah, so that, so that will be a really cost-effective way as you start. As you grow, we have lots of volume discounts available for small business, and especially if you've got something that's quite standard to send out like a book, that can work really well. And one of the things when I'm talking to small businesses is they think you need to be quite large to actually access that but if you're sending just even five parcels a week we've got discounts available for small businesses so I really encourage uh, you to come in have a chat to us or indeed go through uh, my post business online and you can actually access those uh, discounts as you grow. Wow down to just five. Yeah. I thought it would have to be a hundred or, or two hundred. No or with, with so many small businesses in Australia starting out and so much of it is around sending those items out to consumers from five from about five a week there's some discounts available. Okay that's fabulous. Rebecca terrific advice. Alison hopefully that helps with your question and we'll see the rest of you next week. Hey, thanks for dropping by the KBB YouTube channel. If you want a whole lot more where this came from, press the subscribe button and it will open a Pandora's box of great videos that not only are educational, full of great advice, but also really inspiring. Just what we need as small business owners.